track number 7 Ayan, track number 7 on side 2 It says bootlegger I got this, this is very weird Francis M and Gino Padilla It's called Saudi Tapes no? Saudi Tapes Yo, what up? It's your boy Crazy Kyle, the Filipino picker. We're here at Moseyo ng Kahapon, Bonnie Mandaluyong. And today, we're gonna talk about bootleg tapes and cassette tapes. Good morning, life. Good morning, sun. How are you? Skies above. Gee, it's great to be alive and love. But what I'm really, really proud of is my master plan collections, no? Uh, I went to San Francisco, hang around with Johnny Crush, but as a big fan of master plan growing up, I collected all their tapes, their CDs, and even the bootleg tapes, which I want to discuss with you guys later. So yeah, I, wanna, I want you guys to check out the three albums, the, the three biggest albums of master plan in my opinion. The first album, the second album, The Way of the Plan. Okay, the first album, that's when they had big uh, posters in Cinderella, no? in Quad. Before it was Gl Glorieta, it was Quad. Uh, we would often try to buy those posters, but it's always not for sale, no? Kasi idol, eh. Okay, I want to talk about one thing. Uh, if you're a big Masterplan fan, uh, track number 7, you know, track number 7 on side 2, it says Bootlegger. You see that? It's a, it's a very nice kit, no? As a kid growing up, I didn't really know what it looked like. Okay. Uh, and of course, um, later on, I found out what a bootleg tape was. I didn't want to buy it because, of course, you want to support the artist and buy their tapes, diba? The original tapes, the original CDs. That's what you want to buy. Uh, but later on, when I became the Filipino picker, when I started collecting all the Filipino stuff, no, uh, I felt that it was okay to buy the bootleg tapes. The bootleg tapes look like this. And this is not, I didn't purchase this to listen to it, but as a part of Philippine history, you know, because a lot of people back in the day couldn't afford the original tapes. Even now, we, we have a habit of buying the bootleg tapes uh, shoes, you know, and bootleg toys, but now uh, I want to discuss the bootleg tapes, especially that it is number seven here, right there. It says bootlegger right there. So you would notice the bootleg tapes, no? It's normally uh, made of plastic, no? Either this color or majority was pink, like that, pink. It's called Saudi tapes, no? Saudi tapes. Um, versus the original, which is a clear case, no? Crystal clear case, like that. This one has a plastic, no? And <laughs> the saddest part about it is that it's so bootleg that sometimes they would combine two artists in one tape that has no nothing to do with each other. For example, here, uh, I have a Maricel Soriano and Tito Big and Joey, okay? So, uh, that's really funny. But uh, people would buy, I think, let, let me see. See, there's a weird Al Yankovic, okay? At the bottom, look, look at that. Sharon Conetta is always there. Right, so this is clearly a bootleg tape. This is the bootleg of Master Plan. Right there, look at that. Diba? At the back, it, you will see. <laughs> hey, Jude. Manila, I'm home. To Malonso Mayao. Freak the funk, yo, freak the funk. See? It's uh, actually. Um, not something that I wanted to buy before because I want to support the originals but now as a collector I would want to have it actually I got this because I purchased a bunch of uh, a bunch of these a bunch of um, Saudi tapes like that and when I when I checked it out one by one I, I want to show you guys one two you know what? Uh, Joey De Leon three and look the gems were at the bottom uh, Andrew E. Ka ng pangit. I got this. This is very weird. Francis M. and Gino Padilla. Look at that. Pinagsama. Oh. 
look at the back uh, side A and side B is Gino Padilla I guess so tingnan nyo naman wala pang photoshop noon no? like they just built, they just cut and paste the photo there diba? no editing involved look at this one this is the Francis M Ito, uh, I like this I never tried to listen to it but this is the Saudi tape version look the owner is Fernando and Christy Fernando, Fernando and Christy mm. I hope they're still alive though <laughs> Daimo tawag dyan Daimo there, How we used to personalize stuff And this is the one Let's go back to master plan This is the one that they are Talking about sa bootleg Bootlegger Track number 7 no? So this is how it looked like no? It has the Inside inlay Of the first album and then uh, at the back it has the track listing no? there are some songs there that is not master plan related okay it says high tech master plan stereo let's try to open it when you open it you would most likely get a generic no? a generic cassette tape on this case it, you get a black one but this is very rare huh? I just want to share with you guys I'm not telling you guys to buy pirated because uh, I don't support that. But this one is a very rare memorabilia ng master plan, no? Kasi very few people bought this kasi they want to support the original. Like, like me, I wanted that. I got this when I was really old na, on my mid-30s. That's when I got this. Okay, but I got these when I was a teenager. So, ayun, no? So... Uh, I decided to buy it so that I have, you know, all kinds of master plan memorabilia. Napakaganda. Uh, but it's funny because they have a skit. I think, if I'm not mistaken, ang chismis noon. Si Jay Masta daw yung, yung nasa kalsada na ginulpi nila. They beat up that, um, that bootlegger, no? Yung nagbebenta ng bootleg tape sa kalsada. If you listen to track number 7. They beat him up. I heard that it's Jay Masta doing the Tagalog dub there. And then, this is the actual one. Okay, so let's go check it out one by one. Here we got some Francis M, Andrew E, Denmark. The Multiplex, no? Very rare. Francis M Multiplex. Yo album. This is Martin Magalona, Rap Asia. Another Multiplex by Death Threat. Gusto kong bumait. A sealed seven shots of wisdom, rappy boys, kulay, rap public, no? Daming umusbong dyan, no? Uh, Salbakuta, Michael V. Uh, I got a Lady Diane autograph, no? Na nag-guest sa Crazy Kyle TV. Ito, pinakamalupit, no? Then Mark, I'm Marky D. MC Lara, no? Yung pag naalala ko ang Lady Zasta, lagi itong dalawang to ang comparison ko eh. Sa Sa Sadam, no? Lady Diane, ito yung album niya na EP. Chinese Mafia, okay? And then I got the Bass Rhyme Posse. I got a little bit of True Fate that uh, had a collaboration with uh, Med Marfil. Then the Master Plan, of course. And then Sun Valley Crew, True Asiatic Tribe. Uh, for the Love of It album, underground release yan mga kap. Recognize, Lobat Labas. This is how the United Freestyles Volume 1 look like. Ay, naka mimeograph lang yan. Uh, open Mic Volume 1. Um, BB Clan, an autographed um, DFT. Uh, EDS Clan. And uh, of course, a couple of uh, bootleg tapes. And ito yung iba, no? Pasadahan natin. This one is signed by Picasso. And this one I got the uh, Mike Kasem, no? Partners in Rhyme. Okay? Before uh, Mike Cosa. Baby, baby pa si Mike Cosa dito. Pero 
Ito yung Partners in Rhyme noon, back in the day, si Mike Kaysen. He was an MTV VJ, no? Ayun, no? That's the PBA logo. This was under uh, XAX. Shoutouts to Paulo Kurosawa and Don Rice, no? There, I got the Submarine Funk. I got the Trilogy. I got this just recently, no? Biglang may mga sale, tapos lumabas yan. I was like, damn, that's a classic. And then, uh, Kulay, I got this. This is very rare. This is from Tower Records, no? Kulay, no? Dalawa yan. Burn and Delicious. It's a single. They call that a single. Isang kanta lang yan. And pro most probably uh, instrumental sometimes. If you close your eyes and imagine, this is probably what the bootlegger was selling to the master plan because they he was selling bootleg tapes dahil traffic no and then malas nya he accidentally sold it to master plan themselves no <laughs> that's very nice so that's it i gave you all a tour of the cassette and cds if you all want to see that in person just visit us here at museo ng kahapon where we preserve all the 80s and 90s memorabilia no from uh, basketball to electronics to bottles to mga tin cans and everything and toys basketball memorabilia statues everything of course a trip or a travel back to time just visit us here uh, at Boni Mandaluyong, you can waze it, Museo ng Kahapon. And if you have something to sell, don't hesitate, just send us a PM, especially if it's Master Plan related, Francis M related, and any music related stuff. Good morning, sun, how are you? Skies above, Gee, it's great to be alive in love. Good, good, good morning, sun. Good morning, son.